you answered my doubts when you said something earlier. You said that when you fight for the UFC, you don't worry about selling tickets. Somebody takes care of that for you. And that marketing machine behind UFC is what, you know, I mean, I look at some of the fighter pay, and I know that they show comparisons sometimes. Like somebody said, uh, I don't know, somebody fought in Bellator, and the guy made uh, half a million more dollars than him. It's absurd. But the healthcare system is big. If I get hurt, I know I could do that. You could also train at that UFC fucking duplex PI. in Vegas, which I heard <laughs> is state of the fucking art. Oh, it's amazing. Like I heard it's just state of the art. So so a lot of people don't see that. Yeah. I mean, I, think, I do think like the fighters do deserve more money, of course, you know, but, um, you know, I don't think a, a union would be a bad idea. Um, there's a lot of things that could change, but. As far as like fighting goes, they're still doing the best. They're still on top. They're still taking care of everybody, um, at least better than every other promotion right now. So, I mean, there's always going to be improvements that could be made. And, you know, maybe in our lifetime, we'll see guys making uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. I honestly don't know where boxing gets all the money. We talk about it all the time. The ticket prices and the pay-per-view. They've been yeah, doing it. They, they invented that fucking system and the thievery and the whole, you know. Mike Tyson talks about it, but the UFC, I mean, listen, everybody's getting rich over there. Don't think Dane is doing this out of the courtesy of his heart. You know, the people, (laughs) they're getting rich, and uh, they have a big nut. That's what a lot of people don't understand also. They got a big fucking nut. That's a big nut that you don't see. We don't see everything. I can't imagine what their insurance bill is. Oh, I don't know. I can't imagine. So... Before I complain and talk about something I don't know, I did was a little disappointed about the union not coming together because I heard about this union starting about three years ago. And I think the fighters really do need. But the problem with fighting and the problem with stand-up comedy is that while we're building our union, there's always one dickhead that goes around us and that'll work for that pay or even less. Exactly. There's some schmuck that's going to be like, I'll do it. And then they ruin it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, unions are give and take, too. There's plenty of bad things that come with the union. So I think it'll get dialed in. But right now, like, they're doing well. Those guys are doing well. The Having the UFC during the pandemic was the best. There were no other sports on. I love what Dana does, man. Like, he, he's definitely got balls, and he'll be the forefront. He's the one that built that company. It is what it is because of him. And, uh, and this isn't kissing ass. It's just, that's good no, business, I, you know? I, Hey, listen, I got, I love Dana. There's days I wake up and I love Dana. And there's <laughs> days I wake up and I go, fuck Dana. What the fuck, you know? But at the end of the day, he does a great job. Listen, yeah. man, it's, here's the other problem too, Chris, which you saw. You know, the NFL, the longevity of a running back is three years. When I heard that, I almost died. Because you play football all your life, you get to the pros, you you run over people in college, and your longevity is three years. But not really. Then we have Barry Sanders, and we got the guy from Chicago. You got all these greats that played 10 years, whatever. The same at the UFC. It's a fucking coin toss. Like, when I first went to L.A., I gave myself a year. If nothing happens in a year, I'm going to stop in Colorado, stab my ex-wife, and then go to Jersey, <laughs> and nobody will fucking find me in Jersey. That was my plan. But every time I shut that deadline down, I did something good. Yeah. I get a movie or a commercial or somebody would tell you you're funny, you know. So with the UFC now, when you go into it, you got to go into it with a plan. Yeah. I mean, I would like to see those guys have pensions and stuff like the yes. NFL guys. I think it's five years in, they get, you know, pension for life and they get health care for life. Um, that would be amazing for MMA, you know, because the guys come out banged up. I've got friends that are retired that they're not the same anymore. No, um, no. And it, it's a toll. You know, I was watching uh, Barbarena against the dude. He's 40 years old. Tremendous. They just fought um, about two weeks ago. Oh, Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler. What a great fucking fight. The boxing Robbie Lawler was great shots to the head then Barbarina came back and knocked Bobby out it was a great fight but it's brain damage 
Man, yeah. One of those Lawler's two guys my, brain damage. I mean, both of them probably. Lawler's one of my favorite fighters oh, that's my been dude. around, man. He's a monster. 40 years but, old. And he's been in some old. battles. You, see, you go back, look at some of the battles that guy's been in, oh. man. It's, he's a savage. Oh. <laughs> you know, and that's why I love, like, there's a couple, like, listen, fighting is hard. You've seen these... Uh, these legend jujitsu teachers, you yeah, know, they're legends. They're great, but if you look at them now, watch when they walk in. They don't walk that good. Look at their hand grips; they're not that good. You know, that's why I like Alberto Crane's tactical fitness. I do I that. I've seen that. Oh my God, he's got an app now, and uh, you know, I, I did jujitsu with Alberto. I know Alberto since I shot the longest yard in New Mexico before he even dreamed. When he just had a little school, and we used to all go in there and break his balls. But Alberto has a jiu-jitsu school. He's got a Muay Thai class there. But the most, the class that's growing the most is a class he's got that's called technical, technical whatever, tac fit, tactical fitness. And it's basically active recovery. It's a five-day program. And you run I'll it. Have to check that out. Yeah, you run it at the same time with jiu-jitsu or a Muay Thai, and it just takes care of your shoulders, your joints. It's really fucking dynamite. It's a lot of movement. They don't have it here, but once they do start a school, I mean, he sends me tapes from time to time. It's a yoga mix. It's yoga with kettlebells and club bats and pull-ups and weird push-ups and shit, but it's an active recovery, and it's pretty good for you. But that would be the plan, to go into the UFC with goals, fight every 120 days, just be a fucking savage for three years. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. After every fight, I was like, how soon can I fight again? You know, you can only get so long. So I was lucky enough to be with them for, I think it was about eight years. Wow. We did 20 fights. And then, uh, yeah, so I was just trying to stack them up. I was thinking the same thing. I like the paychecks. So I was like, let me fight five, six times a year and just keep racking up money. You know, I know the tickets are expensive for the UFC, but I tell this to everybody. I've been to boxing matches as a kid, you know, at the Garden, like the Golden Gloves. And then, you know, I've been to live football games, live basketball games. They're all great. The The live experience is great. The UFC live experience is also really great. Oh, yeah. The whole fucking thing from the prelims up to the main card with, with Bruce Buffer and you see all the fighters coming in and, you know, it, it's great. I don't know if anybody has done it. I know it's expensive. You know, I know that some of the tickets are fucking high end, but just get yourself a cheap seat and go to an event. And it's yeah. fucking life changing, guys. It really is. You know, I went to like, thank God I was friends with Joe all those years. He brought me to like 30 events. <laughs> I would have a blast at those things. I'd take edibles. I'd be gambling in the hallways with people. Like we'd bring a bunch <laughs> of singles, you know, and $5 bills. Nothing, not, not hundreds or nothing. Just people in the row. Just people that are sitting around you. We get fucking around. You know, we got Alex Jones high one time. We got him <laughs> fucking baked on edibles. And he kept saying, edibles don't do nothing to me. Edibles don't do nothing to me. And finally, he sat behind me. I couldn't figure out why. When the chick came by, she's like, hi, what, do you, what can I get you? And he's like, what do you got? And she's like, well, we have pretzels, peanuts, hot dogs, and something else. And he goes, give me one of each. Because <laughs> they were fucking for free, but I looked at him. I go, I thought you weren't. I thought these things didn't get you high, cocksuck. He's over there eating pretzels and shit. Great time. So if you could catch a UFC fight, catch one. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been to one in a minute. But even that, uh, you remember the intro music? I don't know if they still do it, like the yeah. piano or whatever, and then it speeds up and it speeds um, up and stuff. No, no, it's a, it's a fucking oh, great time, man. Chris, where can people buy this soda and read more about it? Because I think so, once people start reading about this and they taste it, they're going to lose their fucking minds, like I did. Yeah, I mean, check out fitsodas.com. It's the easiest. We're on Amazon. Um, we're in a ton of major retailers. Um, on our website, we have a store locator. We're in Sprouts nationwide um, and a ton of other big stores, but it depends on the state you're in. You know, you can get it on Amazon. I tell a lot of people that's the best. If you got Prime, they'll ship it for free because, you know, sodas are heavy. But, um yeah, fitsodas.com, where you can check out everything on there, the story, all of that. We're even revamping the website. And we have a lot of big things coming. We just haven't announced it yet. Where are you training these days? 
I trained at a uh, Genesis training Academy here in uh, Denver. It's in Arvada actually um, for MMA. That's where I do striking with uh, my coach named Jake Ramos. And then I do jujitsu at Catharo training center in Littleton, Colorado. And I also coach over there too. You're a bad motherfucker dog. I bounce the city all day. <laughs> Well, listen, when I come out, I'm going to come visit you, fuck around with you. Uh, I talked to my wife about, she asked me, what do you want for your 60th birthday? She goes, we got to start planning. And I go, I don't want no fucking party. I don't want none of that shit. (laughs) So I go, I'll tell you what I would like. I would like to go to Colorado and show my daughter Boulder, Mm -hmm. Snow Mass, and go up to Aspen. That's the week of bikini skiing. There you go. People ski in their bikinis and shit, and they fall and the tit pops out. (laughs) No, nah, but I used to go there 20 years ago. I can't imagine now with all the fake tits that come up from Dallas. They fucking oh, fly insane. through the air one of those tits blows up and you just sail away into fucking snow mess. <laughs> Chris, yeah, I love you, you, man. I'm happy yeah, you, man. you took the time today, man. You're a good guy, and I'm sorry we've been playing phone tag. It's just been fucking crazy lately. Oh, no, no problem. I know you've been busy. Um, I appreciate you having me on. Bro, I always listen to your show. I fucking love you. You know that forever Let's so keep me posted you need something let me know and thank you for the soda and we'll talk we'll talk this weekend yeah definitely come out to denver i'll take you on a tour of live well too their massive dispensary out here their grow house is something you've never seen before really yeah live, live well. well it's like yeah live well is the biggest one around here they've been a sponsor of mine for a long time but their grow house the one they have here in denver is two hundred thousand square feet it's massive you'll mm-hmm. blow you it'll blow your mind I just want to lay in the middle of it and take a nap and see what happens with all that fucking air and all those chemicals. I love you, buddy. Thank you t- for taking the time today, and I'll be in touch. All right, man? All right. Sounds good. Talk Stay to you black soon. black and beautiful, Tarzan. Bye. <laughs> Bye.